Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 17.4 is just around the corner. It will be released to the public very, very soon, but we're going to talk about the specific date in a few minutes here. But first of all, let's take a look at some of the things that I believe every iPhone user must know before they update their device to the new iOS 17.4. Now, first of all, let's talk about updating. Now, of course, updating is pretty simple on iOS, but if you have a beta installed on your device, then it will be a bit different. So if you don't have a beta, if you have iOS 17.3.1 on your device, you simply go to general software update here and you're good to go. Now, if you have one of the betas of iOS 17.4, things will be a bit different. Now, if you have the last beta, not the RC version, then you will have two options. You either install the RC version, which is basically the same thing as the one that will be released to the public, or you can disable the beta updates and then just update to the final version. So if you have, let's say, beta 4 of iOS 17.4 on your device, and you just want to move to the public version, you simply go to your settings, general software update, and then under beta updates, make sure to turn them off right here. Now, if you have the RC version, you won't be getting an update here because you already have the same exact update that Apple will also release to the public. Of course, if Apple doesn't release any other RC versions today, because they usually might release the, se the second version of the RC, then you will get, of course, the second RC right here. But if they don't, then you already are updated to iOS 17.4. And now let's talk about size and build number. The build number for iOS 17.4 will be 21E217. This is the new build number based on the RC version of iOS 17.4. Now, of course, the size will be different on different devices and also different based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone, but expect this to be at around one gig. Now, of course, we cannot know that exactly because when we installed the RC version here, it was over six gigs. That's because iOS will be completely reinstalled when you're updating from a beta to the RC version. That's why we don't know the exact size, but it should be at around one gigabyte on any of your devices. Now, when it comes to apps and games on iOS 17.4, you probably have heard a lot about sideloading and also game streaming services. Now, there are two separate things here. If you're living in EU, in the European Union, then you will get sideloading, basically the ability to install apps from other sites than the App Store. If you're outside of the EU, you won't be getting that feature, which is of course pretty bad, but hopefully in the future, we might get that feature in other regions as well, even though I really doubt that Apple will do that unless they are actually pushed to do it like on EU. But if you live outside of EU, don't expect to get side loading with iOS 17.4 on your device. But what you will get is game streaming services, just like you have Apple Arcade here on the App Store, you will also get other game streaming services. Apple is allowing that with iOS 17.4, which is really amazing. And of course, it will open like the gaming section here on the App Store and probably will have a ton more games. And of course, the ability to have more competition for Apple with their streaming service. And of course, expecting some really great streaming services to come to the App Store because we know it's a huge market. And now let's quickly take a look at some of the really important features that are coming to your device with iOS 17.4. First of all, if you have the iPhone 15 Pro, you will get a new set section here for battery health now it says battery health normal here and when you go here you will see all kinds of details you will have the battery health the maximum capacity of your device and also the cycle count right here and down here it also shows the manufacture date for the battery and also the first use of this battery now if you go here at about battery it shows that your the battery is actually designed to retain 80 percent of its battery health with 1000 cycles that's really amazing it used to be 500 now with the iphone 15 pros is 1000 so that's really really great now with ios 17.4 we're also getting transcriptions for the podcast app so if you use the apple podcast app now you will have the, tra the transcriptions right here which is really awesome now of course you can also search within these transcriptions so you will have a search bar right there we can search for any text you want and it also goes into this like 
full screen mode which is pretty awesome so while it's playing you just leave it like that for a couple of seconds it will go into this full screen mode now of course you can scroll here up and down the transcription try to find anything you need there's also a new widget on the home screen with iOS 17.4. We get a new clock, a digital clock for the cities. You can see right here it shows the clock and you can see this animation around it shows the seconds. Right there at the top it will show the city. It will have of course the clock here and then it shows the time difference right there at the bottom iOS 17.4 also brings new emojis. You will have a ton of different emojis. Over 100 new emojis have been added to iOS 17.4. So you will find something like a phoenix, a chain, something like that, like shaking heads. There are a lot of them. And there are also a lot of like different people emojis with a lot of, of course, different colors. Combining all of those, there will be over 100 new emojis on the keyboard with iOS 17.4. Now, really welcome change for Siri on iOS 17.4. When you go to Siri and you go to messaging with Siri, which now has been renamed, you can now add a new language. You can see all these languages right here. Siri now can read and send messages on any of these languages. So you don't have to use only English. You can choose any preferred language right here from this list and Siri will be able to actually read your messages from that language. And we also have some changes on the stolen device protection feature, which was introduced with iOS 17.3. So when you go here, now you will have the ability to choose whether you want to require the security delay away from familiar locations, which used to be the only option with 17.3, or you want to do that always. If you choose always, this delay will be applied at any time you want to make any changes. Moving back into the app store, now you will have your purchase history at your account on the app app store so you go to the app store at the top of the app store you will have your profile right there now you will have the purchase history right here where you can see everything you have purchased with your apple id so basically you will have all the apps all the in-app purchases all the subscriptions everything you have done right here now of course you can search anything you want you will also have filters if you tap right there you will have the cost there the type whether it's an in-app purchase a subscription an app music books anything you want and also you can select the date range right here so starting from the last 30 days up to the last year or you can just choose a custom range and here is another change that apple has made to the music app but they have actually done this on a lot of other apps like books podcasts as well you can see this button right here it used to say listen now it's now called home and apple has done this on a lot of their apps as i said like books and podcasts all of them now have the home button Another thing you need to know before you update your device is of course how is battery life with iOS 17.4. Well, I've been really satisfied with the battery life that I've been getting, especially from beta 4 and on. So you can see right here the last day with about 40, maybe 45% battery, 4 hours, 36 minutes. Right here with about 60% battery, we have 7 hours, 26 minutes. And then we have here with 55, 60% battery, 6 hours, 15 minutes. And then right here we have with about 80% battery, 10 hours. And then here you can see with 75 maybe 70% battery, 7 hours, 25 minutes. And I've been getting some really decent battery lives right here. You can see 110% battery life, 12 hours and 7 minutes. It's not the greatest ever, but it's actually quite improved in my experience from iOS 17.3. Now, when it comes to performance, iOS 17 has actually performed really good since the beginning. And you can see right here, this is the best results that, that I got with iOS 17.4. The single core score is at 2,960, while the multi-core is at 7,504. This is an amazing score with Geekbench 6. And it also shows, of course, on everyday use, it actually performs really good and it's really, really smooth. So when will iOS 17.4 be released to the public? Well, expect this update to come here to your device most likely on Monday, March 4th. Either Monday or Tuesday, these are the two dates when you will get iOS 17.4 on your device usually apple does this on mondays the big updates usually get released on monday but it might happen on tuesday as well so either the fourth or the fifth of march should you update or not i think you should this is a great update and of course it will add some really cool new features to your device 
So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.